For practice itself, check 1.3 binary 2, we are asked what is the decimal equivalent to each of the following binary numbers. So we're given the binary number 100, and we need to find the decimal equivalent to it. Well, we're given 1, 0, 0. This is of base 2, so this is going to be 2 to the 0th. This is going to be 2 to the 1st, and this is going to be 2 to the 2nd. Now we are going to multiply this 2 to the 2nd by 1, and we are going to get 4. We are going to get 0 here and 0 here. So our answer is just 4. This is the equivalent for the number 4. Next we have the binary value 1, 0, 1, 1. Again, this is of base 2, so we are having 2 to the 0th base here and then 2 to the 1st base here, 2 to the 2nd here, and then 2 to the 3rd here. After we have this, we are going to multiply the value on top by the value below it, and so we're going to have 2 to the 3rd here, which is going to give us 8. We are going to add this to the next value, which is 2 squared times 0, which is 0. Then we are going to add this to the next value, which is 2 to the first power times 1, which is 2. And then we have 2 to the 0th power. And anything to the 0th power is just 1, and this is being multiplied by 1. So we get plus 1 here. And then we are going to have 8 plus 2 plus 1, which gives us the value 11. For our third value, it's just going to be 42. It's kind of a mix between... Um, this and this question, so we'll just be focusing on the last question. And we are given the binary value 100110. To convert this into a number, we are going to do the same thing. We write out the powers of 2 here. This, the first value being 2 to the 0th power, the next 2 to the 2nd, or 2 to the 1st, then 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 3rd, 4th, 5th, and lastly, 2 to the 6th. Once we have all these written out, we can multiply what's on top by what's on bottom, and then add everything together. So we have 2 to the 6th, which is 64. We have two zeros here, so we're going to skip over them. And then we have a 2 cubed, which is 8, plus a 2 to the 4, or 2 to squared, which gives us a 4, plus 2 to the 1st, which gives us 2. We can add all of these together, and we are going to, well, we can first look at these because they are the easiest. So we're going to have 8 plus 2, which is 10, and we get 14, and then we're going to have 64 plus 14. So that means our answer is going to be 78. And those are all the answers for binary 2.